was with my husband one day, I believe here in church, some people heard it speaking, heard him speaking about it. This is what I was talking with him about. He was saying, these days we have a lot of people who have been called by God. But most of us, we are including ourselves. We are not doing things the right way. We are not walking in the truth. So, children of God, let us walk in truth. Don't mind what somebody else is doing. Do what you are supposed to do. So I said to Daddy, there is three, three posts or callings that people don't go playing in them. I'll mention them to you. Pastors, evangelists, and teachers. And I said to him, there are two posts, I would call them posts, that people love to play in them. Apostles and prophets. And he said to me, why are you saying so? And I said, if you are a pastor, the word must live in you. When you tell people, this word must be coming out of you. Hmm? You preach what you live. Now, when you are a prophet, I'm not saying all of them are liars. You speak things that people don't see. Even if you are lying. Because nobody is seeing. You are right. But you are, when you are an evangelist, how zamaya we are with it, watch a la chilling conto, scaba or wajama, kakar, one day without all. You must tell them the word that is inside of you. You must tell them the truth about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When we go to teach us, you must preach and speak the word and explain it until you understand, you understand, you understand, and you, everyone must understand the revelation of that particular verse. Because you are a teacher of the word. I said, now. In other words, I'm recruiting you also. These days, we have a shortage of pastors, evangelists, and teachers. People who can tell these people that Jesus is alive. I'm not saying people must not prophesy. I'm not against prophecy. But where are teachers and evangelists? We hardly hear of crusades these days. We only hear of Prophet Makananis, Prophet Sisters, Prophet. Where are the evangelists? Is it finished? I believe we still need evangelists. Where are the crusades? Those ones we used to hear those days, they are no longer there. Hmm? There are no longer people who will go out there and say, I'm going to speak about Jesus. People must be saved. People who are crying for the souls of the lost ones. So as I'm standing, I want to pray for all of you. Let us hear this cry. There are a lot of lost souls outside there. Let us go and tell them about Jesus. I'm not saying let us move from our post that we are comfortable with. But let us also tell them, tell them about Jesus Christ, the Savior. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sin not. Run away from sin. Let us be holy. Let us show holiness. Let us tell people about the holiness of God. Because if we are not holy, we will not want to be able to stand before him. But Christianity that we are living today, Chetri, Kerinyana, Lispaisinyana, Mm? 
the issue is not I have to be comforted and feel great because I'm getting your tithe and your offering and everything is moving well. I must mind also about your soul. I must cry also about your soul. Can I pray for you that prayer? Raise your hand. Father, pour out that anointing that you said you will pour on your children and we will prophesy. When we prophesy, we speak your word. We speak of your greatness. We speak of your goodness. We speak of your kindness. We speak of your peace. We speak of your love. We speak of your greatness. We speak of all the good things that you have done and to us as your children, tell the nations of your truth, tell the nations of your righteousness, tell the nations of every good thing that you've promised that you will do to us. I say, let them take it in the mighty name of Jesus, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Take it, take that anointing, take it. Take it in Jesus' name. Take it in Jesus' name. Take it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Take it. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in Jesus' name. Take it in Jesus' name. 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 Take it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Take it. 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 In Jesus' name. Take it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Let us clap our hands for Jesus. The book on a life of a victorious Christian, volume one, by Apostle J.B. Makananisa, is now available at bookstores and online at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Booktopia, Outskirts Press. Get your copy now, and your life will never remain the same. Shalom.